So you wanna pump up the chest and the abs and you've only got 10 minutes, then this is the workout for you. We're gonna superset the chest exercises and the abs exercises one after the other for 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, a very quick warm up, starting in a single arm circle, one arm at a time. Just try and keep your chest facing forwards and get that rotation in one arm. Going backwards, take a nice deep breaths and come forwards in the same arm, big circles. Start mobilizing that shoulder joint and the same on the other side. Start with backwards on the other arm, opening up the shoulders and the chest before we start doing lots of push-ups. And the same forwards. Okay, come onto your hands and knees and let's start in a reach through, rotate. And again, same side, reach through, drop the shoulder down, rotate in the torso, reach the fingers high. And same on the other side to finish up this warm up. If you do need a longer warm up than this, then that's fine. Get your shoulders and chest warmed up if you want something longer. Otherwise, we're going straight into it. We're gonna start in 30 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, uh, 10 seconds rest, starting in a standard push-up, but slow. First set, we're gonna go slowly down, slowly up. Are you ready? In three, two, one, let's go, first set. Slowly down, take two or three seconds, and then push up, slowly down. Ten seconds left, go slow, stretch the chest and fully extend to the top. Ten seconds rest before we take it into a standard plank. So we're supersetting chest and abs, okay? Coming down onto your forearms and elbows, up into a plank. A superset means partnering two areas together. So once we do a chest, then we rest and do abs, and then we keep switching for this whole workout. By the end, our chest and abs will be fully pumped so get ready to work. And rest. Now we're gonna take it into a standard push-up, but a little bit faster. Let's progress it slightly. Now that we're warming up, feeling the shoulders into it, still a standard stance into a push-up. Now drop down a bit faster, get more reps in this 30 seconds. If at any point you need to drop the knees, which I will be by the end, so don't feel bad about it, building strength. Dropping the knees is fine. Keeping that straight spine, long body, stomach in, and rest. Now we take it to abs in the bicycle crunch. Laying on your back. Let's go, elbow to one knee, switch elbow to the other knee. Keep your shoulders just off the floor, cycle the legs, twisting the torso. And rest, well done. Back up you come. Now we take it into a push-up pulse. Get to halfway and push up in the middle. Don't reach the bottom and don't reach the top. Like this. Down you go. And we're pushing up here. Stretch and push. Don't reach the top unless you need a rest. Keep 
keep space between your head and your shoulders. Long neck. Drop your shoulders back and down. Drop the knees whenever you need or reach to the top. And rest, well done. We're burning out already. This is good. This is how we're gonna grow and build and define the chest. Take it into leg raise for the superset. Lay on your back, legs long, dropping down. Lengthen and lift. If you need to make it easier, bend the knees for a knee raise instead. Make sure your lower back is fixed into the floor. If you want your hands underneath your bum, you can do that too. And rest, well done. Back up, turn around for the next push-up. We're gonna take it into a wide push-up next. Bring your hands a few inches wider on both sides. Really stretch the chest. Here we go. You can go slowly, stretch the chest, wide push-up. And rest, well done. Keep squeezing the chest. Let's take it into the abs twist. Leaning back slightly and twist, let's go. Heels up off the floor if you can, if you want to, otherwise down on the floor. Twisting at the hips, working the core. And rest. Turn it back around. We're gonna take it into a high plank walkout. Give the push-ups a slight rest. From a high plank, let's go. Walk out to however far feels good. Walk it back in. This is working chest and abs at the same time, as well as shoulders. Keep it going, seven, six. And rest. Superset that with a really similar exercise, which is the plank saw. So now we go down onto our forearms and elbows. Take the feet a little bit further away this time and rock forwards and backwards. Saw forwards and backwards. Make sure that you've got a good, healthy position in your hips, not tucking under like this with a big arch in the back. Squeeze the glutes, lengthen your legs and spine. Keep going for 10 seconds. And rest. We have the final superset. We're gonna get back to that push-up position and hold it. Can you hold it? Let's see what you got. Push up position, down to 90 degrees, let's go. Elbows, 90 degrees. Can you hold it? Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Long body, don't drop down. Drop the knees before you drop down. Keep going. And rest, turn it round for the superset of a single leg, uh, a leg drop, a leg raise. So bring both legs up to here, and we're gonna take one leg at a time down to here. Core strong, down and lift. Oh, 
and rest. Okay, we're gonna take it into the final set and we're gonna go for a half rep and full rep in the push-up. This counts as the final exercise for the chest. So let's push it out. We go half rep to here, down and then up to the top. Down, half rep, down to the top. Let's go. Don't give up. Keep control. Three, two, one. Ugh. Turn it around for a hip lift. This is it, the final time in the abs. We're gonna come back to this position and we're just gonna drive our feet up and down. Let's go. This is it. To the end, don't stop. And rest there. Workout complete. Okay, well done guys. That was an awesome, fun, quick, chest and abs workout. Make sure you do it regularly if you wanna pump up the chest and the abs. And if you need a cool down, then make sure you do your stretches and cool down. If you wanna follow one of my cool down stretches, then go onto my channel and find one. Actually, really ironically, I've had to come inside to film this because it started raining a lot as soon as I finished filming that workout. I don't know if you could tell, it was quite kind of gray and cloudy. And I wanted to come in and talk to you about bulk, clear, protein which comes in whey or vegan and how I usually find it really refreshing on a summer's day <laughs> and it's raining so much but it goes to show that you can enjoy this kind of protein shake any time of year and any kind of day and I actually really like it because it's like a, a clear drink rather than like a milky protein shake so if you want to try something like this and get your protein content in which is perfect for post-workout after one of these workouts, then make sure you check it out. Visit the links in my description to go to bulk.com forward slash crockfit and take a little look. Okay, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed this workout. Come back and do it again. Give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.